Welcome to the Emanuel Asimota Foundation and Block Series. Today, we will be discussing West Nile virus. Unbeknownst to the resident of Syracuse, Utah, West Nile virus was lurking in a nearby mosquito pool. Despite alarm among residents, the authorities have urged calm and are intensifying their mosquito management in the area. Indeed, no reported cases of West Nile virus in humans are yet to occur in Utah in 2023. Nonetheless, the discovery of infected mosquitoes has raised interest in this little-known disease. In the following sections, we'll delve into the mystery of the West Nile virus, investigating its cause, symptoms, diagnosis, and global epidemiology. What is West Nile virus? The West Nile virus, WNV, part of the flavivirus genus, is primarily spread via mosquito bites. Infected mosquitoes, having previously bitten an infected bird, transmit this virus to humans or other mammals. Not everyone who gets bitten by an infected mosquito falls ill, but the virus can pose a severe threat to individuals over 60 or those with weakened immune systems. In rare instances, WNV can also be spread through organ transplants, blood transfusions, breastfeeding, or during pregnancy, though it can't be transmitted through casual human contact, like touching or kissing. Signs and Symptoms of West Nile Virus Symptoms of WNV generally appear within 3 to 14 days after exposure. They range from mild to severe, as outlined below. Mild symptoms, fever, headache, body aches, nausea, vomiting, swollen lymph glands, rash on the chest, stomach, or back. Severe symptoms, high fever, confusion, convulsions, muscle weakness, vision loss, numbness, paralysis, coma. Despite mild symptoms often being associated with less serious illnesses like the flu, they should not be dismissed lightly. Early recognition and medical consultation can ensure timely diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosing and treating West Nile virus. Suspecting a West Nile virus infection warrants a prompt discussion with a healthcare provider. Diagnosis is primarily based on symptoms history of potential exposure to infected mosquitoes, and laboratory testing of blood or spinal fluid. Diagnosis process. Number one, evaluation of signs and symptoms. Number two, examination of history for possible exposure to mosquitoes. Number three, laboratory tests on blood or spinal fluid. Unfortunately, there's no specific vaccine or medicine available for WNV infection. Treatment predominantly involves managing symptoms. Treatment measures. Number one, rest and intake of fluids. Number two, over-the-counter pain medications for symptom relief. Number three, hospitalization in severe cases for supportive treatment, including intravenous fluids, pain medication, and nursing care. Preventing West Nile virus. Defending yourself against the West Nile virus involves a few proactive measures to minimize mosquito exposure and maintain a mosquito-free environment. Number one, dress appropriately. Opt for long-sleeved tops, long pants, and socks when outdoors. Covering exposed skin reduces the chance of mosquito bites. Number two, use insect repellent. Apply an insect repellent with 20 to 30% DEET, safe for use even during pregnancy. However, avoid using repellents on children under two months. Number three, eliminate standing water. Mosquitoes breed in standing water. Clear any standing water around your home, including pet dishes, flower pots, pools, buckets, tires, or tarps. Number four, report stagnant water. If you notice stagnant water bodies in public areas, report them to your local mosquito abatement district. Number five, maintain your home. Keep your doors, windows, and screens in good condition and ensure they fit snugly to prevent mosquitoes from entering your home. Global Epidemiology of West Nile Virus West Nile Virus, WNV, is a worldwide concern, with its impacts varying across different regions. Understanding the global epidemiology of WNV is crucial to comprehend its prevalence and preventive measures better. 2023 U.S. West Nile Virus Detection Syracuse, Utah, had an unexperienced visitor in 2023. The West Nile Virus was detected in a local mosquito pool. As confirmed by the Davis Mosquito Abatement District, this revelation marked the first indication of the virus's circulation in the community. Fortunately, 
no human cases of WNV have been reported in Utah thus far. However, the United States has seen 36 reported cases this year, with Arizona taking the lead at 25 cases. Global Epidemiology WNV has an extensive history, being first isolated in a woman in the West Nile district of Uganda in 1937. It's known to cause outbreaks in regions on major bird migratory routes, with the largest ones recorded in Greece, Israel, Romania, Russia, and the USA. Introduced in the USA in 1999, WNV has since spread across the continent. In temperate climates like the United States and Europe, the peak season for WNV infection ranges from July to October, although warmer and humid climates may experience extended peak seasons. Everyone is susceptible to WNV, but individuals aged 60 to 89 years old have a higher risk of severe disease. Although mosquitoes are the primary vectors, rare cases of WNV transmission have been reported through organ transplantation, blood transfusion, breastfeeding, transplacental transmission, and laboratory acquisition. As the climate continues to change, expect the global distribution of WNV to continue to push northwards and southwards. No longer a solely African disease, it is set to become a truly universal condition. Written by Emmanuel J. Azimoda. Thank you for listening. Until the next one.